Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia and today I'm going to just bring you along with me because I'm doing a few little bits and pieces here um, for something that I'm working on and I've had these things for a really long time, these cutout pieces, right? So I've decided I'm going to put them together. Now I have a, have a die for this so it's a little booklet, okay? And I've cut out the... Um, the bits here and I've got these ones right so I've decided now I'm going to put these pages in these are tea coffee dyed pages I think I did I think they're coffee dyed let's turn that one over that way a bit well, that, that's not going to match up you've got to match up the little holes you see because you've got them already there okay um, pretty easy really but still this is what we're going to do for a minute and then we're going to do some more things because I just feel like working on this sort of thing today. I was, I come in here with an alternative plan and it just did not work for me. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, I want to do this. So, they should be all lining up, shouldn't they? What's going on with that? Why don't they? Why that one not be? Where's the hole in that one? Maybe it's up the wrong way. It could be just a tiny bit of difference here. Look at that. You've got to get it right, don't you? So this is just a thing to put in um, you know, a little extra something on, in some things or something, I don't know. It's just a little bit of interest. It's interesting little pages. And you can do these. We could make these yourself, really. You don't have to have a die. You just... But this is... I've already got them done. I mean... And they've been sitting there for years, and I'm not joking, they've been sitting there for years, <laughs> waiting for somebody to come along and turn them into, into something. So, that's got to go that way. Yeah, so they've just been waiting for someone to turn them into something, so I'm going to do that this morning. It's a nice day. No, it's not a nice day. For, why would I say that? I suppose every day is really a nice day. It's just, it's just that, you know, it's not really. <laughs> so I've got these white... Uh, yellow ones on the outside maybe that one goes that way like that is that right no it's like that is that right yes there is a very tiny difference in the top and the bottom bit so they're gonna go like so and you've got all your holes already done for you that one's not pushed out Come on. Yeah. We'll be able to see through it, don't we? Otherwise we're not going to be able to put... sew through the hole. There we go. I don't know. Now you've got to line it up with this one. <laughs> and that'll be around like that. And that side. Is that, is that working? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, Sonia. What's going on here? That bit. Is that bit right? Yeah. So what I need to do is come through here. Where's there's a hole? And get that bit there. Get this hole. Come on. Because I'm gonna have the the thread on the outside, okay? Twist that, That'd be a good idea. There we go. Yeah, we're going through those like so. Can't make it too. Well, that's snazzy. I'll do it like that. That went good. <laughs> so far, so good. Wait a minute now. Hold that bit. Get up here and go through. So when I got this, I did envision that it was a tiny bit bigger. Um, not very 
you know, I, if I'm looking at things, I get excited and then get too excited. And it's not, but I reckon this is quite cute, this little book. And you could do one. I mean, it's not like going around the corner there. Hang on. Nobody panicked. <laughs> I was going to go through here and through there, and we've got it. Okay, we've got hold of it. Righto. So there you go. Look at that. Isn't that snazzy? I do like that. And here's a little booklet. Oh, isn't that cool? <laughs> so there you are. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to tie this up here at the back. a bit further put a knot in there because you sort of want it to be visible that you have got that on there don't you so this, um, you know what I bet it's loose now but that doesn't matter I think because you want it don't want it to be too tight that it won't open and close properly so I just cut that off there and there there you go Yeah, see, because if it's too tight, that won't that won't move, will it? Right. So that's that one there done. Now I'm going to do um, one of these others that I do love to do with the sewing and in the calico. And I've got the bits and pieces here for that. Did I set them up here? I think I did. Um, not that bit. Not that bit. Not that bit. I've got to put something else on top of it because that'd be me, wouldn't it? It'd be have to be happening. <laughs> I don't actually know. I probably could do two. I don't know. <laughs> just I'm just sort of um, quite keen to do this today. It just feels like something that I need to to do work with. So this is going to be one of my pieces that I do like. This is. I'm not really keen on the outside of this. Let me see if I can clear that up. Okay. I'm not a big fan of red, as you would know. And you people probably like black them colours on there, but it's not my thing. And the best to do what you like is no good doing what something you don't like doing, is there? We all have our different ideas and styles, don't we? Well, actually, I can put that around something else now. <laughs> Maybe not. But that's done, look at that. And I like the back too. The back's going to be the front of this, I'm sure. That's what's going to happen to this, I'm imagining. Okay, now this is not very much thread on there, so I'll get another piece. And hopefully we can get a full book done today. We will. I'll show you how to do this. Oh, well, you've seen me the other day do a tiny, tiny one. If you did watch all the video, but if not, well... You might have missed it then, but that's okay. And I do like to do these by hand. I don't like to, they're nice, aren't they, the birds? I don't like to um, sew them on the machine because I think they look, this is the way they're supposed to be. It's my way of thinking. It's my way of thinking. A bit of this thread off here. Nobody needs all that fraying bits. Giving it a hard time, aren't I? Sorry about this. <laughs> we'll get there. Nobody panic. I've been in here this morning. Ideas are coming to me flat out, but you see, you've got to get them out there and the, and the piece of work, don't you? I wanted to do a, a make a bag, but I, I just can't... I can't bring myself to do it. I don't know why. I do know why. You know why I can't do it? I've got to be honest with you. I don't know how much to sell it for, so I can't make it. <laughs> ah, dear. I just don't know how much to sell it for, so I can't make it. I think to myself now I'm not going to do that, because if I've got to do that, I've got to work out how much it costs and everything, and I don't want to do that. Ouch. That works really well. That's sharp. That is sharp. That's not good. I mean, that hole in me. Anyway, I'm OK now. We Nobody panic. Got to make sure that I've got enough for the other piece of card or paper, whatever I'm going to put next, which is going to be the bird, the bird one. I can't use that. Sorry, people, I've just made a big mistake on there. Sorry about that. 
Oh dear. It got me. Not good. I hope that's right now, is it? If you wanted blood to come out of there for some reason, it wouldn't, would it? But it okay, try that again. Don't think I need a band aid, I think I'm good now. I'm okay, nobody panic. Now we we'll go back through this hole here. Some of these needles are really good for this sort of thing and they are really sharp and that's a good thing. But then again, if you get your own finger, it's not, I suppose, is it? There's that hole. There it is. Gee, that was clever. Went straight through there that time. Now, I've only got a really pale, pale sort of pink. This is a very pale pinky colour. Um, thread that I'm using and it probably is a five. No, it would be eight or, or eight or a ten. It's only very thin crochet thread. You can use whatever you like. Always like the calico myself. I always like to use the calico. Now I've got to make sure that this is straight because when I'm putting the other piece on, I've got to just make sure that I've got it reasonably straight. I see I've sewn that something down there earlier, didn't I? And I did not iron this because. I thought that would be too much. <laughs> Don't go too far now, I have to iron it. leave that one a minute. Now I've got this piece of card here, plain in a piece of cardboard, piece of card stock. I'm just going to tear that, make it. So this is going to be, and I've just snipped that off and shouldn't have done, this is going to be the back, imagine. It's okay, we, we can deal with that, it's big enough. Find some ink here in a minute for a bit of ink on. Okay. So maybe none of that should be straight. That one is. But it doesn't matter. Everything's different, isn't it? <laughs> if Tommy do this, gonna have nothing left. Making confetti. Okey-dokey, now I need some distressful ink, distressing ink. I do have a beautiful pink one here somewhere that I bought not long ago. And I, oh well, not long ago, it was a while back, but I haven't really used much of it because I can never find it. Oh well, that's not true. haven't done any, I haven't done any distressing of anything for a while. That's why I haven't used it. Uh, that's not one. That's really dark, that one. A mouse, I'm not going to stretch around here like a mouse in a drawer. I hope there's no mouse in the drawer. Obviously not. <laughs> Amazing how when you're not looking for these things, they're there looking at you. Come here, please. Don't get my hands stuck in here all day. I think I've got it. I think I found it. Look at that. It's oxide. And that's that's good. It'll work really nice on this thing that I'm doing because it says tattered rose and it's really beautiful. Look at that. And I've wiped it everywhere, but that doesn't matter because of the colour, it doesn't matter. Look at that, it goes really nice, doesn't it? 
beautiful ink. Um, well, I suppose it's ink, isn't it? Some um, distress <laughs> is it oxide. So, well, it's a it's an ink eating. <laughs> it's distressing, isn't it? Okay, isn't that pretty? Oh, I do love that. Isn't this going to look nice? Now I'm going to go and get myself some more of this because I'd rather do this and this and green any day than the brown one. I really would. It's one of my favourites. Might have to put a bit on this too. Not a big fan of the square corners, but but I can't really see myself dealing with them just at the minute. I'm get that ink out of the material. That won't be good if that goes. Everywhere, well, it's on you. Have I got that corner punch thingy? Probably not. Okay. And plus, I've got gold stuff too, which I really want to use that as well. You know what? Because this is not really going to be near that, it's going to be at the back. I'm going to try a bit of this stuff. What do you reckon? If I could figure out how to get it off. You leave that off there like that. It's gold. <laughs> And turn this round. I look at the look at the what's the name on top of it because I've never used it. It's it's sitting there doing nothing. Let's see if we can get some out. Oh dear, look, it's all all new. Well, I've had a, I've, <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, I'm gonna just get a bit off the bottom of that and put it around. You look at me working. <laughs> I'm starring. <laughs> Sorry about this. <laughs> I'm having fun. I think that's it, the main thing. Oh, look at that. Isn't that ducky? It's going to make it a bit hard for me to do this. <laughs> oh, look at this. Isn't it nice? I love it. It's gilding, gilding polish. You just dip a tiny bit in there. Just dip a bit in. You get a little applicator too that comes. Isn't that neat? Come on, you stay on there. I haven't got enough. I don't even think I dipped it in there. What am I doing? I'm really lousy when it comes to using something. And I've had it for months and months and not put anything on, put it on anything, which is so silly. You make some beautiful things, Sonia. This pretty stuff. Yeah, it look good. Ah, yeah, that's better. Now we're getting it on. Right, and that goes back in there. That goes on here. What's the matter with this? Why is it? Oh, there's something, some sticky sort of stuff on the top of that. I guess that's. I don't know what it is actually. We might just fasten that shut for a minute. And when I've finished, I'll put some <laughs> on the other pages, okay? So I don't stress myself and you out too much. Because how am I going to say this now with that? Look at all the stuff I've been missing out doing because I couldn't couldn't find me things or didn't look far enough or whatever. You know what? I don't care if this gets all over the place. I think it'll still look good. Okay, so we need to put it on there. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I might stick a tiny bit of glue along that just to make sure it's straight because when you go to sew it together, you need that to be... Okay, so... Let's just put glue, but not where we're going to sew. Okay, so just a tiny bit right on the edge here. Tiny bit there. Well, just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Now I'm starting to have fun. The time's going too fast. Oh dear, I don't know. Anyway, so that's going to go on... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Over a bit further. But not too far. I mean, I'm probably wiping all that stuff off there. The glue, the purpose of the glue is so I can get it, this bit to look right. See here? I need that to be good. The same distance, pretty much the same distance down that way. Let's move some of this stuff out of the road. I 
Right, I now stitch down there. Where's my needle? Okay, I give up. What did you do with it, Sonia? Can I put it back in this? This seems, doesn't seem like me, does it? Anyway, let's do this. Look at my fingernails. No, don't. <laughs> I was really lazy and I had this dim. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had this sparkly nail polish on it. It was really annoying me, so I painted over the top of it. Now I've got three dimensional stuff on it. Ah, I give up, fair dinkum. I tried to, I only want to put the stuff on them to keep them, get them to grow because they're all wrecked from getting that fake stuff put on there. And they're taking a while, but I'm going to stop using it and just go back to my normal self. And then right over, get around here some way. Work it out. And I'm going through with the glue a bit, too. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not. It's okay. Now that bit's still connected there, but I think I ended it off. Don't worry about having some strings on. That's okay. You can have strings. And it doesn't matter that I think I've, I'm pleased that I glued that because now it's not going to go, it's not going to move and it's easy for me to stitch it, okay? The stitching is the part that makes the idea, that isn't it really? You know, it's, it's a good idea bit, the stitching. I've also dug out me misty stuff here. This was gold, why is it pink? Probably been sitting in there since the year dot. And it does spray nice gold. I'm gonna, uh, I do a lot of sewing. <laughs> I might just have a tiny break for a minute and do a plate. This is sewing though, isn't it? Because I do love the paper stuff too. I do love the paper stuff. I really do. Oh, there's my needle there. Okay, come on, you cotton, get out of my way. Here's all the stuff to me. That's that's dry, that one. So there's your, there's your cover. All right, that's easy. That was really simple, wasn't it? Can't find my bin. Cat's always in my bin. something something I've also fished out all these bits here that I've been playing with this morning oh well looking for I've got more like this that are per, but I can't see them anywhere and then I've got that one you never know what, if these have got anything in them or not anyway so now we're going to put a piece of this in this is nice isn't it a bit of the pattern from a Look, well, we're not putting it in there. We're going to make another page. That's one page. You know, that's one page. Now we've got this piece here that's... Actually, there's two bits here that I've got torn up. I might actually keep that together because it's... I'm going to glue this together, make it thicker, more, more sturdy, more sturdy. I might have to cut a bit off, though. I don't know yet whether I'm going to take that bottom bit off or not. So this is out of, I think this is out of a kid's scrapbook or something, because you can find some really neat stuff, you know, in things. Some really neat stuff in the pocket. Not long enough. I've got to tore some up here, got it ready. Actually, if I put this other glue on here, I'm, gonna put, I'm putting them together so I can just put the glue on. I can stitch through that pretty good. I think it'll be easier to stitch through. It will be. It's wide enough. I think so. Yeah, you only need a bit to catch it in the middle. I can see through there that that's open. 
<laughs> it's like a game of dominoes here. Everything falls down when one thing goes, they all go. I might just leave it a bit longer for a second. So I stitch this up. More thread. So now I've got to go and take this crap off my fingernails. <laughs> I know I keep mentioning them, but I can't help it because they really annoy me. It really does. I don't like the look at all. I grew up in a very strict world in my day when you were smacked on the fingers if you had dirty hands or fingernails. I don't know if I copped that, that much, though, but still, you had to be careful. You never know. That was at school. I guess it sticks with you. <laughs> it sticks with you for your life. You just stand there and show them, you know. Remember that? <laughs> you must remember that. Hands turn them over. Right, if they weren't, it would slap. you would give you a good slap of the ruler. Oh, how terrible was that, eh? Imagine what happened these days if you had to get the ruler. You'd be under arrest. I don't... Well, that's fair enough. But imagine we grew up with respect for them people then. Children these days don't think they have any respect for anybody of authority at all. We were, we were, I suppose, well, I suppose we were scared, or we just respected people a lot more because that's how we were. I think that's how we were raised. We were, but um, you never called an adult by their first name. That was rude, unless it was uncle or auntie, and you put that in front of it. Yeah, auntie. Only flow, had only flow. I did, lots of aunties, myself. <laughs> but you had to, and Mr. and Mrs. was your teachers, they weren't called by their first name. And I think the kids do now. Well, they might call them Sir or something, I don't know. It's got to be a different world we're living in now than what we used to. either really and get the time <laughs> So it's not pointy. You so it's not pointy. <laughs> it probably looks wrong now, but anyway, it's like feet or something. <clears throat> I don't know, some of my vision's not good. <laughs> I can't imagine that. Hopefully there'll be a little bit of journaling space in this. Sure I'll manage that somehow. I've got a few ideas. I don't know if I can get them all out there in the world. It's just sometimes it's really hard, though. <coughs> just to do all these things. Well, maybe I need some sort of an applicator to do this. You reckon? I might need some sort of an applicator. But then I figure you lose a lot moving it from one thing to another is what my idea is. You know, if you've got a sponge or something that you're putting it on and then putting it on here, you lose it. Maybe that's what I need to do, though. Right. Pretty. Definitely need to go and get some more of this stuff. I do like it. It gives it some interest without really, you know. <clears throat> Don't know what I was thinking when I was thinking about doing that the other way, because this is how it's going like this, see. 
goes together like that because that's what we're making isn't it? it's one of those okay right now I've got this one here that I've actually cut out of something and then there's a postcard thing that I'm going to put in here this I might keep them together the same size if I've got them this should probably go near the back of it anyway I don't know what to do about this bit. You probably need to have it open. The top. So I don't want to stitch it down, but... Alright. How about if I put it back there? Do something with it like that. We, we just go down here with this. Now this has to be the same. Maybe I'll be sorry. This has to be the same length as what the, the longest one is. The piece of calico it has to be the same the length as the longest piece, the longest bit of um, paper I'm going to be putting on. So we're going to put that on the edge of there. It's probably not going to stick very good because this this card's a bit shiny. I don't know if it's going to work very well. And then that's no, it's not got it's not dry. Nobody panic, it's dry. So this is going to be on there, but you want to make sure you've got it sort of centered, you know, like between that bit and that. You've got that extra bit at the top and the bottom. That. Cut that off at the longest part. Thank you, Ducky. Now, yeah. stitch this on. I'll do this one first. It's not over very far, but move it over a bit further. so I can get this stitched down because it's not going to stay there if I do make sure your fingers aren't in the road so this you can use whatever you like to make this it's everybody's own choice isn't it to do these they can be as big or as small as you like them to be I've already done a few and I've showed you those. I won't stick with them though, but keep. Um, I do like how they look and it's easy to make and it's fun. It's different, and that's another thing too, it's not, not different. Okay, that's got <laughs> on the other side there. Best wishes for all your life. Best wishes. Thinking of you and wishing you all the life best and life's best today and always. Okay, must be like a birthday. <laughs> well, that bit of it is. And you got hair accessories there. An easy move. Trying to read this with it moving around. I'm going to have to cut that off because I don't think it's going to come back the other way. It's good. I know. I haven't had a look on Timu to see if they've got ink on there. I think they have. Don't know. They could do. Maybe not. They've got lots of other things. I've got two two little lots so far, and I'm thinking about another one. I've started building up another one. <laughs> Things I need, really, I know. <laughs> I don't need anything. I can sit in here for 
years in craft and I need to go and get one bit of maybe the glue something that I might you know have to replace a bit of because I do use a lot of glue but other than that I probably wouldn't need to buy anything else I've sat in here for years crafting and that's going to go back that way now I might stitch it yes I'm going to do that I'm going to stitch this I'm going to come across it because then it can be used as a tuck spot this back bit you get me okay come across the top of the envelope nope that's not going to work don't go through two because if you go through two you won't be able to use that bit there's a pocket yeah actually <laughs> it's going to prove pretty tricky anyway well i'm going to put a um I'll get the punch thing out shortly when I find it and put a little dent thing in there so you can see you can get stuff out and be able to get stuff out if you put stuff in there well these are nice big lightning stitches aren't they I'm still here. I've got. I think I put two episodes of me leaf thing that I'm making up there so far. I don't know. I think I have. I put it yesterday. Yeah, maybe. And then I'll put this up. And today, which is Sunday, and then I can. I want to do more, so I'll be still working on it and do part two. And then I'll have to go up another day because Monday's stitching. It's all happening. <laughs> I did, you know what, I'm sure I put in a video that I'm not doing any more of this <laughs> work until I finish what I'm doing. This is part of something I'm doing, eh? don't judge me. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be part of something else. You watch and see, okay? What it is. I did put a challenge out there for people to make a leaf too and see how many of you put up a picture of it on our Facebook page. So I hope somebody's done that. Maybe you didn't watch it all the way through so you didn't see that I put that up there. But I thought it'd be nice to everybody to have a go and have it show me what they what their take is on it. Uh, come on. A bit hit few thick pieces here to get, it's all to get through ouch all right gotcha okay that's that one <sighs> have you getting caught up I can not in this bit. It shouldn't go anywhere, I hope. It should not come out. I have got a small punch here. We've got the other one. There it is. <laughs> it's like somebody held hold of it and I'll try to take it off me. <laughs> down in here okay whoa hold your horses there Sonia now because this is tricky I'm gonna have to try and see if I can put that no I'm gonna have to do it this way and did I, I have a mark there on the side of it so if I can't see what I'm doing I can go to that mark and I can press down at the mark and I should get that in the right place. See there? I just 
worked it out easy one day by just putting it that way. And when I got it right, I just put the little mark around the side here so I could see how far to put that down there so I could make a hole. Okay, or half a hole for some some bits so you can get it in and out. So there's another one. I don't know if I've got time to make another one. I hope so. I hope so. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous, this thing. I just can tell. I can just tell. It's going to be awesome. Maybe I'll put that one on the back because it's a solid, solid one. But that doesn't necessarily mean it has to because we're going to do it some more now. I'm hoping I can get another one done before I turn this off. I've got some of this nice grease pervy paper that was off this off something somebody sent me. And I'm going to put this on a bit. Here's a bit of this. And half it with that. I'll go that way. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll cut it that way. A bigger pair of scissors. If you get a good run up on it first, just <laughs> muck it up too much. If you can write on that, look at that. Look how crooked I am. I'm really not good at this. I see, um, Shabby Debbie Doodah. She can sit there with the scissors and cut things out the, uh, and, and just cut them out. <laughs> it just works for her. That's, it's incredible. I'm going to take the top off. I'm going to have a pocket there now, look at that. See there, a little pocket. Right. Bit of glue. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the pocket. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better glue it down. I wasn't going to worry about gluing it down because it's going to be stitched anyway, isn't it? It's going to be stitching in there. So I don't have to worry about that too much. <coughs> This is a bit wider, this piece here, it could be. <clears throat> oh, everything's getting caught on my jumper. It's really annoying. I don't know why I'm wearing this because it might be like now. <coughs> I suppose I had to put it on this morning when I was really freezing. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> dear and dear. Sorry about that. So we're going to put that there. All these frilly bits. <laughs> so I'll make it to the length of the longest thing. Right there. I mustn't have put much ink on that. Much glue, I should say. And let it straight. Don't be, don't be wonky on me. And be wonky. And just fold that over there. And make sure this bit here is nice before it sticks, sticks down a bit. I don't think I give that much glue on there, but anyway, it's all right. Nobody worry about that. Now I've got the hiccups. Sorry. Goodness gracious me. <laughs> oh dear. More hurry, less speed, definitely. Okay, I'm going to stop this here, but I'm going to um, quickly sew down this page. I'm stopping that so it won't go off and scream at everybody. Um, so this is another die that I have that I cut that out of too when I was doing them other little books. Um, I had a, a session, <laughs> I suppose you might say cutting all them pages and I don't think I hardly used any of them at all so now I'm going to use things oh, now that's come unstuck you can stick it very good Sonia might be a bit more liberal with the glue might be a good idea a bit more generous there. okay get up under there
make sure that's going to be okay when I go to stitch it in on whatever we're doing yes so it should be right I just put one on one day and it was really badly skew with don't know if I took it off or not probably did I don't want to have to do things like that day to day don't have to take things off side. See that's crooked. I can't afford to do that. I need it straighter. That's better. It won't stick there if there's nothing to put under it. I know we're doing it just a, you know, shabby thing or whatever it is. But we still need to have some parts of it straight for the construction purposes of it, don't we? We do need some of it straight so we can put it together. It would be any good if we couldn't get it together. I'm going to have to just get myself working on one thing at a time, truly, <laughs> until I finish it. There's a few things that's only part way there, you know, just part way there. You could put this with a lace or something down the back of this instead of the calico. You know, you don't have to use you don't have to use the calico. You can use a piece of ordinary fabric if you wanted to. It's just something different. You know, whatever you wanted to put on it. It's um, it's up to you. It's your um, your thing. Right, I might have to go because I, and I'll come back and I'll put in a bit more together. So thank you very much for watching everybody and we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.